Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Touring Australia. Today, we're in a very small town in South Australia. And you're actually looking at the most southern tip of South Australia right now. That's it right there. Who knows where we are? It's Port McDonnell in South Australia. Just over the South Australia border. This is obviously the boat ramp. So yeah, if you're out and about traveling, there is a lighthouse there. Uh, you can probably see it over there on the hill there, sort of middle of the picture about now. Some people are into lighthouses. But, uh, I think there's a couple more along the coast. Uh, one of them at Carpenter's Rocks. I think there's one in between as well. Um, we're just exploring this coastline along here up to Carpenter's Rock, so there's an extra long break wall here too to create a bit of protection for the bay, so if you're into boating and fishing pretty good launching ramp over here, let's just take a look at that, eh? Bit of a quick look, it's well protected obviously, unless that, you know I've got to say it's well, I shouldn't say that, it's not really that well protected because the prevailing wind, sorry about the sun, but come in from that direction as well so it can get a little bit choppy over the boat ramp as well Small town, a couple of fish and chip shops. That's it, kind of, you know where the trees are. That's the main town. A few, uh, yeah, a couple of fish and chip shops, a pub, a couple of cafes. Nice little spot that gets busy like any other nice little spot, really. Uh, nice day out here today. Probably about uh, five knots or so of wind at the moment. Uh, sort of like glass in close there as you can see but there is a bit of a breeze it's picking up a little bit five to ten I'd say keep this in mind it's always windy down here think of that right now it's not always but generally it's always windy down here and it's wind off the water so if you're gonna come down pick your weather carefully if you're gonna do some beach driving a lot of beaches like this hard packed um, but you got to watch it because sometimes it can be sand over a lot of weed like this and uh, of course that's where you can end up in a bit of trouble. It can get really mushy, mushy underneath driving on weed and stuff like this. So you really got to check it out and know what's going on. So be careful with that and just go racing on the beaches unknown. I'm not saying the beaches down here are easy or hard. Um, we'll probably have some more information later in the video. Let's go and check out a few more things and check out the coastline. And there may be some other videos on this and other places you may be interested in traveling. So if you haven't already, now's the time to subscribe and turn the bell on. And bada bing, let's have a look around. Only because it's a Prado. This is the uh, west end of the main street, one of the first cafes. Bit of trivia for it, Perry Winkles, this one is called. We're going to be there for dinner tonight. It's one of the higher rated restaurants in the area. Not that there's many. Wouldn't be hard to be in the top 10, let's say. Here's an interesting question for you, and we'll give you the answer later in the video. It's called Perry Winkles. What's Perry? Who knows what a Perry Winkle is? Do you know the answer to that? We'll have the answer for you later in the video. Whee! And here we are at the end of the jetty. Looking across towards the boat ramp inside the harbour where we were at the start of the video. Alright, that's the town obviously on the west side. This is kind of like the, you can tell where the trees are, right? So the main shops, a little bit to the right of the trees. Jetty's right in the middle of the town like usual, isn't it? And you can see over there in the distance, a blue building and a yellow building. Blue building on the left, yellow building on the right. Both fish and chip shops. We've only been to the blue. We don't like to eat a lot of fish and chips because, you know, it's not good for you. But 
it's places like this where you've got to give it a go. And I can tell you the information I've got and the fish was awesome. So we went to the blue shop, right? And the fish was great. It was really fresh and soft and had the right flavor. Thin, crispy batter, not that thick, gluggy stuff. I'll be putting a review on Google for this for sure. Awesome fish. Potato cakes were good. What else we have? Calamari. They were frozen, obviously, your pre-prepared stuff. But real calamari, uh, what else? Uh, look, the chips were good. It was good overall. You can get uh, flake and decent bit of flake and chips, a lot of chips for 10 bucks. So there's a fish chip pack there. Worth a visit if you need a snack when you're in Port McDonald, in my opinion. We haven't tried out the yellow shop. We won't be doing it this visit. Okay, and that's obviously at the end of the kind of, there's a, the pub, you can see the pub actually middle of the picture it's the next street back or something there's a little general store there not much in the town that's about it um, yeah you can get fuel and stuff like that beach area along there you can see a couple of guys launching off the beach over there anyway let's go and have a look around a bit further So this is what you got guys, the caravan park, 1.3 k's to the east end up the, uh, about a k up the you know coastline on the water. Bit of a sand dune there to stop some of the wind blowing in, it's not too bad. Museum to the left, general store, you can see what's in town. Let's head down this way. We ate at the pub last night, I rate it, yeah, not too bad. Uh, the kids' meals are about 10 bucks, which is always good when they swap out the chips for veggies, no charge, they did that. So we're happy with that overall. Good, fair value for money. Alright guys, so we've just headed a few minutes west out of Port McDonald, literally a few minutes. Uh, that's facing east. It's a little car park just there, we're not far from the cars. What's a periwinkle? It's a sea snail, you can eat it. That's all the detail you can get here, this is not exactly the nature channel yet. You might find them down there on those rocks. You can eat them, they're quite robust, check it out. Check out that coastline. This is absolutely the best day, and I just want to warn you now, watch out for the March flies. They're trying to get me on the legs right now. That's why I'm wobbling around a bit. And this is the best day. I'll tell you, the weather is not often this good. And right there, you're looking at the most southern tip of South Australia. So we're gonna go there and hit that post, because guess what? We haven't been there yet. Guys, so just over that outcrop there, that's where Port McDonald is. So it's not far out of town. You can see the lighthouse up on the hill. I'm not going to include that in this video. Awesome coastline to come and explore. We're just going to go up and have a look on this lookout point again. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This is the southernmost point of South Australia. And if you haven't already, now might be the time to hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell on so don't 
so you don't miss out on these awesome places you can discover that look you can come and check this out in a normal vehicle you don't even need a four-wheel drive you can certainly do it on your own thanks for watching guys bada bing bada boom see ya all right one more bit of video so you can check out this coastline all right that's the uh you know the tourist technical most southern point of south australia where we just were beautiful day out here there is a light breeze it's probably about the five knots thing again around about there really awesome spot to go fishing and very popular for divers chasing southern rock lobster not crayfish crayfish are in fresh water Okay, let's go over to that other point over the other side and have a quick look and then we're out of here. Alright, this is it. We're nearly done. This is facing west. We're about to head down along all these beaches. Obviously, we have to go off and around all the rocky outcrops and stuff. That'll all be in another video. So, as I keep saying, so you don't miss out on some of the best information and scenery make sure you subscribe and you've got the bell on you'll get an email and we'll give you as much detail as we can to help you stay out of trouble and all the important information you need so you're not missing out check out those beaches on a day like that, that is just awesome you want to just go and get in it don't you okay that's definitely butter bing butter boom all right we're out of here see you guys